I just took on the British Special Forces test march called the Fan Dance. Considered one of the toughest physical mental challenges in the UK. What is the Fan Dance? Why did I sign up for it? And am I fit enough for the SAS? Let's find out. There she is, Penny Fan. The way back is all about the legs. Can they keep up? I can barely walk. Fan Dance is a gruelling 24km tab, which in military terms stands for Tactical Advance to Battle. Think of it as hiking on steroids. It is a fast-paced walk and shuffle with a loaded Bergen weighing a minimum of 35 pounds plus food and water. The 24km route takes place in the Brecon Beacons in Wales and is staged over Penny Fan, a 3,000 foot mountain that you've got to summit and descend twice to complete the route. The fan dance is the first major indicator to assess if a candidate has the physical and mental aptitude to complete the legendary UK Special Forces selection course. And the benchmark to complete the route is four hours, 10 minutes, a time that is considered to be a formidable challenge. Okay, I'm a week out from the toughest physical and mental challenge of my life. Why am I doing this? So I have a torn cartilage in my left knee. It's an old injury that dates back 15 years. A quick backstory. I was an athletic kid in school and my dream was to compete at the Olympic Games. My life revolved around athletics, but it all came to a grinding halt when I tore my left knee. I had three failed knee operations all before the age of 18 until my last surgeon looked me in the eyes and says, Jack, you're just going to have to stop playing sport. I was crushed and I struggled mentally for a long time, but I kept training because I loved it. And I was at an age where I started to care about the way I looked. So naturally I fell into a bodybuilding style of training, but it came at a negative cost. Around my mid twenties, I realized my body was falling apart and I had shoulder pain. My low back would flare up. All my muscles felt tight. I was constantly tired. And I thought back to being this fit, energetic kid. And I thought, I want that back. I care about the way I look, but I wanna be strong, fit and healthy. So this sparked a journey to rebuild myself. I learned from experts all over the world and I changed the way I approached exercise. I ditched the gym bro splits and started hitting weights in a more functional way. I added cardio into my routine and I spent a lot of time working on my mobility. And over time, all these side effects went away. I'm 34 now, and I've eliminated all the aches and pains from my body. I'm stronger, fitter, and more healthy than I've ever been. So it's about time this story came full circle. I want to prove to myself that I've overcome these injuries and setbacks, and I've attained physical freedom. I want to put a middle finger up to the surgeon who told me what I can and can't do, and I want to inspire you if you're going through any physical challenges of your own. I know for a fact that with the right mindset and a smart approach to exercise, you can come back stronger than ever. And what better way to prove that than to take on a fitness test built for the elite of the elite, the British Special Forces. Bring on the fan dance. All right, people, predictions. How am I going to get on tomorrow? We reckon. Three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half. I reckon five and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the confidence, mate. I would say four hours is the cutoff. Personally. All right, you heard it here first. Four hours is the cutoff, the SAS cutoff time. Uh, I would go, I think, in the right weather conditions. Which is not this because it's too hot. <laughs> it's quite hot. <laughs> if it rains tonight and it's cooler tomorrow, I think you'll make it with 10 to 15 minutes to spare. Right. If not, I think it'll be really close. As if you might cook your head off. <laughs> yeah, with all this hair. Sweating out, yeah, exactly. It's you want a hair? hard jumping over all those dead bodies. In fact, <laughs> if you shaved your head, you'd probably oh. save time, which I can do for you tonight. There's tonight. a strategy. I'm not sure that's going to go down well, but. Um, all right, you heard it here. I, I think for myself, I just want to break the four hours. I'd be happy with that. Otherwise, this whole video is not getting uploaded. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time. Just registered, raring to go. And uh, weather is good. If anything, it's a little bit too nice. Hopefully, there's going to be a little bit more cloud cover uh, so it's not so hot. We've got a few supporters hiding away over here, if you can see. <laughs> Let's get it on. 
and it was the very person that complained about being stopped, ironically. <laughs> Yeah. Stand by. Stand by. Oh. Okay. I'm off in the lead. I'm going at a pace that feels good. I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea. We'll find out. There she is. Penny fan. Now for the climb. 3,000 foot ascent. Now we're working. Makes a big difference. Just a little bit more elevation. Heart race 165, 170. Just need to keep breathing. Looking down, putting one foot in front of the other until I get to the summit. All right, nearly made that first peak. Check out those views. We'll back off. Thankfully the clouds have come in, so it's much cooler. First milestone is just up ahead. I was wrong, this is the this is the peak. We're at the top. Oh we can't. Got some visitors, supporters. Here we go. Be We're on the Roman road and we gotta run. We gotta keep this pace up. We wanna get to the halfway point in the target time. Dodgy rocks here, so you gotta watch your step and stay relaxed because there's a hell of a way to go. It helps to have these views. <laughs> Look at that. Halfway point. Halfway point. All right, we did the halfway point in target time. 90 minutes just set off for the second leg. Nice work, guys. Really good stuff. Let's do this second leg it's gonna be a lot harder steady uphill all the way to the top of the fan steep decline to finish let's go nearly halfway job, great everyone. effort great effort smashing it mate nearly halfway well let's do it great work guys nearly there halfway around the corner it's not far two hours seven minutes in and i'm just looking at this monstrous climb ahead of me not a good idea. Should be looking at the ground. One step in front of the other. I'm getting cramped now in the quads, which is uncomfortable, and the lower back. So I've slowed down a bit, but I've held a really good pace. So I just gotta keep moving as quickly as possible. Now the pain's really kicking in. Quad cramps, hamstring cramps, lower back, fatigue. First half was all heart and lungs. The way back is all about the legs. Can they keep up? Just trying to march as quick as I can. I think this is Jacob's ladder. Now I've got to really work. Heart rate's back up to 170. Just keep driving to the top. This is the top of Penny Fan. Everything's gone. I can barely walk. Severe cramps in the legs. 2.55 is the time. I'm not sure how long to go. But it's downhill now to the finish line. 
Just have to be careful with my steps. That way, I don't know where to go. I'll go to the right back onto registration. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> finish line. The finish line is there. the time? Oh, 3.18 I think it was. 3.17. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh. It's 15 years since I did something like that. <sighs> really, really, <laughs> really, really, really amazingly well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You did a really well. Yeah, the best <sighs> worst news now is you're going to have to come do the winter one. I know. I knew I'm it, so sorry. I, I, knew it before, <laughs> I knew it when I started. <laughs> You're I, gonna have to come back. I knew I was like, I'm gonna like this. Yeah. And I'm gonna have to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> sorry, I can't. I'm too emotional after this to talk properly. Um, I just want to encourage anyone watching this that they can overcome anything. My story goes back to being about 15 years old, being told by my surgeon, you're done. You're not gonna play sport again. I went on a very long journey, as I said, rebuilding myself. Um, so taking on this, this challenge was very meaningful for me. I'm not defined by this. I'm pain free, I can do anything. And anyone watching this video, you can do anything too. I fully believe it. You, you have to train smart. You have to believe in yourself. You have to have people that support you and believe in you. And you can do this too. I'm no different. Everyone today is a winner. Everyone that's taken on that mountain has won a big mental and physical challenge. And that will spur them on to bigger and greater things. And that's what I want for you. And I really hope this video was inspiring for you. And thanks for following this journey with me. <laughs> so, cheers, oh, mate. No. Well cheers, earned. Nice this is going to be the nicest yeah, cider I've ever had. <laughs> cheers, uh, and thank you to our supporters. Cheers, <laughs> <laughs> there you go.